The law has caught up with one of WA's worst drivers, the man involved in the accident that killed Perth schoolgirl Jess Meehan. Mitchell Walsh McDonald has been jailed after he was caught driving under suspension for the eighth time. He's also been banned again, but will eventually be allowed back behind the wheel. He's racked up eight convictions, but Mitchell Walsh's flouting of the law has finally come to an end. I don't think anybody likes to think that some, somebody's thumbing their nose at the court. Diane Guise is a former MP and friend of the Meehan family who lost their 10-year-old daughter Jess, killed after Walsh hit her with his car in Clarkson. He was drunk but avoided a conviction over her death. She was their only child together. Very painful. It's been almost 11 years since the accident. Walsh has been in and out of court ever since over a series of drink driving offences and traffic breaches. Earlier this year, suspended from driving, Walsh was caught behind the wheel in Yokai. In his sentencing submission, Walsh's defence lawyer argued the 30-year-old suffered increasing psychological issues since Jess's death and he lost the ability to make good decisions. Judge Joe Randazzo responded, It really does stretch the imagination. I reject you did not think about the consequences. You took that risk. You were sprung. He's got some cognitive issues that, that he needs to address and that affect his decision making. Walsh's girlfriend was distraught after the nine month jail sentence was handed down. Pretty upset then? Yeah. The magistrate said that Mr Walsh's time was up, that he constantly put personal interest ahead of the law. On top of his jail sentence, he's also banned from driving until September 2016. He's certainly uh, very sorry about what he's done, particularly in the past. Jess's death in 2003 prompted changes to the law, which meant drink drivers involved in a fatal or serious accident would be charged with dangerous driving causing death. Today, there was a new message. For the repeat offenders, my message to them is get help. You need help. I don't want anyone else to be in their shoes ever. Walsh will be a free man early next year. Tracy Vaux, Nine News.